Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you mount Twitter the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Kaken's Path. So y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up. And let's go. Alright. <clears throat> here we go. Guys, the badges are almost done. Uh, membership levels will be rolling out shortly. And uh, currently working on my Discord server. So if y'all want to support the channel in different ways, I'm going to let you do that. Anyway, let's go ahead. Okay. Of course, you know how your dad is. He asked me to give you my expert's opinion. Which is just a nice way to say that I was supposed to put you down and convince you to quit. And are you? Blizzard makes an open gesture with his hands, almost as if he were about to hug Kaken then and there. His facial expression shifts once again, and all the seriousness from before vanishes without a trace, leaving him with a beaming smile. Cripes, no! I told him to shove it and let you do whatever you want. In fact, I'm really proud of you, kid. I've been hoping that you'd do something like this for the longest time. What? Kaken seems incapable of comprehending the words that were just spoken, standing rooted to a spot in a daze, mouth hanging open and eyes bulging. The first one to break the silence is Alex, who smiles just the tiniest bit before speaking. Huh, guess you're not so bad after all, Kiyoshi. The lizard furrows an eyebrow, confused. Not so bad? Since when have I been any kind of bad? I thought I was great. Don't push it. Sorry. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on anymore. So, you're not going to try and get me to quit? Nah, don't be ridiculous. I'm going to actually show up for your festival. I want to see what this band that managed to enrapture you was like. It's not every day I get to see my cake, my Keichan boy coming out of his shell. Um, I feel like I need to point this out, but uh, Keikun isn't playing. The smile on Kiyoshi's face suddenly vanishes. What do you mean he isn't playing? Well, I'm just a manager. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Kiyoshi-san, you're too loud! What do you mean you're just a manager? You telling me I stuck up for you when you're just a glorified instrument polisher? That's not all I do. I help with the tuning. I oversee their rehearsals. Oh, don't give a monkey's ass. Why the hell did you join a band to be a manager? I asked him pretty much the same thing, too. Although with nicer words. Come on, you guys are being too unreasonable. There's nothing wrong with being a manager. There's everything wrong with being a manager. What was even the point with that? You're a phenomenal singer and a really good guitarist. Why are you settling for a managerial role? Not everyone has the courage to go out and perform. They asked him to stand in for their vocals during rehearsal one day and he choked. Well, I didn't choke. I managed to sing. Also, shut up. Blizzard sighs, awkwardly scratching the back of his neck. Damn, this is such a waste of good talent. Be quiet. I enjoy being a manager and you can't make me feel bad about it. What am I going to do with you? Yoshi, that's enough already. Alex cuts into the conversation, sternly telling the Elder Lizard to back off. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And here I was all excited about this, too. Why are you the one getting excited about it? That has nothing to do with you. Hey, when something cool happens to my K-Chan boy, I have a right to get excited. Will you please stop calling me that already? Nope. Oh, excuse me. I hate you. No, you don't. I'm surprised KSK hasn't already strangled this guy by now. Alright, great. You've said your piece. Can I go now? Aw, oh, is that all I am to you? Just say a few words and then leave. I thought we had something special. <laughs> At this point, I don't think Kagan has any fight left in him. He looks so... defeated. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss, or can I leave? Well, I was going to give you a present for joining your first band, but now that I think you're just a manager, I don't know if I should. A present? His ears perk up as soon as he hears the word present being said. Knowing you, it would probably be a gag gift, wouldn't it? Kiyoshi-san chuckles. Well, that definitely sounds like something I would do. That wasn't the idea. It's not something that would explode or pop out of a box, is it? I just said it's not a gag gift. I don't believe that for even a second. Here, hang on a second. <sniffs> Kiyoshi-san dives behind the counter, disappearing out of our view. Kaken leans against the wooden, the wood, the wooden glass counter, peering, peering, trying to see behind it. When he resurfaces, he's holding an old, dusty-looking red acoustic guitar. Here you go. He hands it to Keikun, who looks down at it hesitantly. Your present to me is your... trash? Blizzard huffs and pouts, placing the guitar delicately on top of the counter and wiping some of the dust off of it with his hand. Hey, I might have seen better days, but this ain't trash. It's not super pricey or anything, but the... but this here was the first guitar I ever owned. What? Kiyoshi-san nod, Kiyoshi nods, proudly puffing his chest. 
Yuppers, yuppers. This here is the first guitar I ever bought when I decided I wanted to learn music. This is from way before I met your father. My dad was always very strict and said if he wanted to buy things, we needed to work for it ourselves. I was originally gonna buy- <clears throat> Oh god. I was originally gonna buy a really base basic model, but when I first laid eyes on this beauty, it was love at first sight. It took me over six months of part-time work to put it to buy it to buy it, but I have it to this day. I realize that even if I still do love it, I don't have the time or energy to give it the care it deserves. So I thought it'd be best to pass it on to someone I know who would take good care of it. Wow, Kyoshi san. I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Nonsense. I've seen how you treat your guitar. That thing is always polished to a shine and always handled with care. Not, e not even I ever treated my instruments that well. I'm sure this baby here will be in great hands. But isn't it important to you? It sure is. One of my most prized possessions. It's exactly why I can't stand to see it withering away in a display closet anymore. It's time I passed it on to someone else. He turns his head anyway. He turns his head away, and I'm pretty sure I can catch a glimpse of a blush as the lizard rubs the back of his neck. And, well, call me sentimental, but I'm pretty sure the guitar itself would love to be with someone that would actually play it. I know acoustic ain't really your style, but I just thought... I'll take good care of it, Kiyoshi-san. Kiyoshi-san's face immediately lights up as he lifts the guitar and hands it to Keiken. I know you will, kid. And thanks. It's not easy for me to let this baby go, but I know it's for the best. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Just let me grab a case for it from the stock. Uh, the one I had with it is way too damaged for me to give it to you in good conscience. Sure thing, as long as you let me pay for it. Don't be ridiculous. It's a gift. Knowing you, you'd probably pick out the most expensive case you'd have in the whole store. I'm the only one who can't accept that in good conscience. Heh. Guess you know me a little better than I thought. Oh, hello there, hot stuff. Just as Kiyoshi san was about to step out of the counter, someone walks up from the back of the store. A lean young man with silky white and gray fur and a somewhat ratty looking shirt looking shirt approaches the lizard. He even has red fur on his head? Style like bangs, too. I've seen some people do the do this in magazines or TV shows, but never ran into someone sporting one of those in real life. Uh Kiyoshi san, I'm gonna have to leave in fifteen I'm gonna have to leave fifteen minutes early today. Thanks again for getting me to the getting me the room. The lizard smiles, grabbing a pen and a notebook from behind the counter and plopping them on over on the top of the table. It's no problem, kid. Thanks again for your patronage. Can I already book you for your next visit? Yeah, sure. Uh, do you have any open slots three days from now? Kiyoshi san looks down on his ledger, flipping a few pages while scanning all the lines. Is that his list of bookings? That thing is absolutely filled to the brim. There's barely any room left blank on the pages. Oh, here we go. I have two openings. One for 2 p.m. and one for 7 p.m. The young man pauses for a few seconds, crossing his arms and scratching his chin. He makes an exaggerated hmm sound as he thinks it over. I think 7 p.m. is the best time for me. It'd probably be in my... It'd probably be in a meeting at the other time slot. All right, I'll just jot it down here. See you Monday, kid. See ya. See ya. Kiyoshi-san waits for a few seconds, watching the boy leave before ducking out of the counter. You know, I could introduce you two if you'd like. Introduce who? Me and that guy. Yeppers. Stop saying yeppers. It's so weird. Yeppers. He's a really nice boy. Plays the bass. He's really good at it too. He recently joined a band, but he's but he's been anxious that it might not work out. Who knows? You could poach him for yourself. The band already has a bassist. Besides, that would be highly disrespectful to the other band. Lizard shrugs, starting to walk away from us and towards the shelves. Well, suit yourself. Who knows if you ever get. If you ever, ever, ever get over that stage fright of yours, the two of you could one day perform on the same stage together. Kyoshi san disappears behind a few bookshelves, behind a few shelves, happily whistling a cheerful tune. Well, as far as interactions with Kyoshi go, this one was this one was the better. This one was one of the better ones. Yeah, it was. From the corner of my eye, I see Keiko gently, gently cradling and petting his new guitar, looking down at it with affection. The sight brings a smile to my face. Despite his earlier insistence on leaving, Keiken easily spends another hour on the store chatting with Kiyoshi-san. For most of the time, I don't I don't get many chances to speak, but I still somehow end up enjoying myself. Once those two finally run out of things to say, Keiken excuses himself and we leave. <laughs> no, I don't think he would be singing the, the American anthem. <laughs> Kicking merrily hums a melody as we walk, proudly carrying his new instrument around his shoulder in his fancy carrying case. For some reason, I get the feeling that that case is worth is worth more than the guitar itself. Ah, I'm trying to adjust my feet. There we go. Okay. Case game. Is there anything else you wish to do? Hmm. No, not really. That was about it. 
Glad it wasn't as painful as you thought it'd be, huh? Oh, um, right. Sorry for dragging you out here just to let you stand in the corner, Yuichi-san. It's fine. I mean, look at me. Don't I make for a very handsome ado very handsome adornment? For sure, a very handsome one indeed. Somehow I didn't expect him to agree with me on that, especially that enthusiastically. I kind of feel embarrassed now. Well, if there's nothing else you want me to do, I guess I should head home Head home for today. Thank you again for coming with me, Yuichi-san. To be honest, I kind of expected Kiyoshi-san to be difficult. So I invited you I invited you more to be a kind of emotional support. Don't you already have Alex for that? Pfft, don't be ridiculous. Alex is the club with which I strike down my many enemies. I would rather not be swung around like a club, thank you very much. You know I didn't mean it literally, the wolf shrugs. Anyway, thank you again, Yuichi-san. All right, sure, I'll see you later. Oh, oh. Higgin quickly leans towards me, giving me a quick peck on the cheek. Uh, somehow I kind of already expected you to do that. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, Yuichi-san. Tomorrow? Um, at Arata's volleyball competition, remember? Ah! Oh god, I'd go I had totally forgotten about that. Of course you don't remember. It was stupid of me to think you would. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Don't try to show up, otherwise he might just murder you. Will do. Have a good afternoon. You too, Alex. The two waved at me as I turned around to leave, a goofy smile plastered on my face. Once I'm sure I'm, uh, once I'm, sure I'm out of sight, the t the touch, uh, I touch the tip of my fingers to the spot on my cheek that Kaken kissed. For some reason, thinking about, what it, about, thinking about it again makes me feel like I have butterflies in my stomach and brings a smile to my face. Ling, ling, ling. <laughs> Somehow I'm faintly aware of the fact that I'm already half awake. My eyelids feel so incredibly heavy that the idea of opening them starts to feel like wishful thinking. No more, no, more importantly than that, I just don't want to. My bed is so nice and comfortable and warm. For some reason, I feel like I've gone through seven rounds of wrestling with a truck. Well, hyperbole aside, I do feel kind of sore. I haven't been sleeping very well lately, and I feel tired all the time. Although this is already more or less old news to me, thank you, Insomnia. Last night was many times worse. I'm not quite sure why. Lately, I've had so many strange thoughts coming over me. Most of them are about Kaken. I don't know why, but the more time I spend with him, the more time I want to spend to spend with him. I don't need your help. Even though he's stubborn to a fault. I'm always worried that somewhere deep down you actually disliked me. Even though he's hardly ever honest about how he really feels. I don't know. I don't know the first thing about you guys. I'm just so self-absorbed. Even though he's surprisingly flawed and vulnerable. I've seen so many sides to Kaken, both old and new. Lately, whenever I find myself distracted, I think about it. I can't help but want to see more. Even when I go to bed, I'm just trying to sleep. I think about it. Maybe I'm... I hear the sound of knocking, suddenly dragging my attention away from my own thoughts. When, my eyes... when I open my eyes, I see Aki at the door. I lazily prop myself up on my elbows, looking at my brother while blinking groggily. Good morning. Wow. Were you actually awake before I knocked on the door? Somewhat, in the process at least. And here I thought I needed the bucket. You throw that water on me and you die. Oh no, not water, just the bucket. You want to throw a bucket on me? To wake you up? Yeah, uh, that way I won't damage the bed. Buckets are heavy, you'd break my nose. Don't be so melodramatic. Either way, you should get up already. Today's Sir School Festival. As if I'd forget something that important. By the time I finally man by the time I finally go downstairs, I am no more awake than I was 15 minutes ago. Even after showering, drying all my fur, brushing my teeth, etc. I still feel like just crawling back onto my bed and sleeping through summer. The season hasn't even started yet, and I already hate it. Aki, is the AC on at all? I'm melting. It's only a bit warmer than the previous days. It's not that bad. No, it's definitely bad. What what day did the weather report say you would be say would be the official start of summer? The fifth? Who cares? I just know that it's really hot. Aki shrugs, packing what packing what looks to be a, a filled lunchbox into his bag. By the way, do you plan on coming by the festival after school? He pauses, musing the question for a few seconds with an overly dramatic look on his face that just screams, I'm thinking. I'm not sure. I really don't want to miss my, miss my, miss much practice. The festival only lasts four days, and you didn't go a single day last year. There's not much of a, there's not much of an interest to me in the first place. Hey, a lot of people worked really hard to make it happen, you know. Yeah, and if any of those people were here, I'd apologize for being insensitive. But since none of them are, I'll just finish packing for school. You little brat. Aki rolls his eyes at the sight of my unhappy grumbling. I swear he used to be so cute. By the way, Shuichini, Shuichini told me your class is doing a Chinese Chinese diner. D 
do you plan on sticking around to help any of this handy help any this year? Nope. You already know how I roll. I like to uh Yeah, you like to be lazy, I know. Ah That's just plain rude. Try to check up on Shuichi if you can, okay? I know that already. Shuichi's team participated in the inter in the inter highs and national qualifiers over the weekends. Well they didn't do badly reaching the finals with ease. They got crushed by the opposing team there. I, it always felt like no matter how hard they tried, the gap between those two teams kept widening every year. This time it was plainly obvious. Barely able to score, this time it was plainly obvious. Barely able to score, their defense was just blasted away by the other team. In the end, they lost in straight sets. Not once did they go over 15 points in a set. It felt like they were just missing more offensive potential. Come on, don't look like that. Shuichini is already going to be really upset when I, we don't need you to, we don't need you down in the dumps too. <laughs> I guess you're right. Oh, and by the way, tell Keisuke-san he took my earbuds by accident the last time he was here, please. What? Aiken did? Eki nods, closing his bag and holding it behind his shoulder. Yeah, I think he just put it in his bag and forgot about it. Either way, I went looking for it yesterday and didn't find it. Are you sure you just didn't lose it? Positive. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Have fun at the festival. The sound of the door closing echoes down the hall. I should probably message Kaken about it before I forget. Oh, Yuichi. Good morning. I hear a familiar voice calling out to me from the stairs. When I turn to look, I see my mom dressed in her usual work attire, fiddling with her bag by the stairs. That's new. You're usually long gone by the time I wake up. My hours got changed a little bit. We got a few new hires in the office, so I don't so I don't need to be pulling overtime every day. Knowing you, you're probably super bitter about it. Mom puckers her lips with a humph, her brow furrowing deeply. So what if I like my work? It's much better than staying at home and being bored. Thanks, Mom. I love you, too. Alright, guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!